Jeremy with RC Worst here, and today we're taking a look at the Franklin Electric QD and QD CRC control boxes. Uh, the QD control boxes house the necessary starting capacitor and relay for your Franklin Electric three wire single phase motors up to one horsepower. QD and capacitor run control or CRC uh, boxes offer the same functionality. The CRC boxes feature a run capacitor for smoother motor operation. And you can actually see this here. I'll open up the uh, control boxes here. So this is just a standard QD. And here you have your start capacitor and your relay. And then the CRCs. We have the relay, start capacitor, and the added run capacitor. And those run capacitors are typically used for for older motors that didn't have the run capacitor built in, uh, which most of the newer ones do. Uh, but the QD in the name means quick disconnect, and this control box makes troubleshooting simple and safe by automatically disconnecting the control components from the system when the lid is removed. The start capacitor in these boxes provides the necessary starting torque to get the motor up to speed quickly. The blue QD relay is what truly sets these control boxes apart from the rest. The job of the QD relay is to remove or disconnect the start capacitor and start winding as the motor reaches running speed. It's critical to do this at precisely the right time. If you take the start capacitor and start winding out too soon, you sacrifice starting torque. Switch too late and the current in the motor and capacitor will heat up and cause damage to the system. Uh, the relay accomplishes this switch at the exact right time by monitoring phase difference between the incoming voltage and the current in the start winding. These relays are specifically optimized for matching Franklin Electric motors. And the terminal block on these is pretty simple, not hard to understand. You have L1, L2, red, yellow, black, your grounding lugs, that's about it. Uh, these boxes are suitable for outdoor or indoor mounting. Uh, they're UL listed for US and Canada, and they're really an essential part of any submersible motor power system. And with these ones, rigorous component testing uh, definitely ensures that these are the most robust products in the industry. Like most things, your pumping system is only as strong as its weakest component. You, know, you really shouldn't let your control box be the weak link. Franklin control boxes and motors provide long-lasting, reliable operation for best system performance. A basic troubleshooting and wiring diagram are included on the face of the box right up here. Uh, for more information on these boxes, take a look at the Franklin AIM manual. Uh, I have one right here, but we'll post a link down in the description of a, uh, of a PDF of it. And it, it has basically anything that you need to know about uh, submersible motors. You can find these and other pump products on our website at rcworst.com. If you have any questions or criticisms, leave those in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.